Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in this video, I would like to show you how you can easily synchronize tasks from a Microsoft Loop application uh, to Microsoft Planner application. Uh, this is actually one of the most, you know, um, kind of valuable and uh, uh, promising features that I see available within Microsoft uh, Loop. And let me explain to you how it works. So uh, look, you can obviously, um, you know, utilize Microsoft, you know, Planner, right? And, uh, uh, you know, manage your tasks in uh, Microsoft Planner. However, um, uh, you know, if, um, for example, you're using Microsoft uh, Loop, maybe you were in a meeting, you know, you're creating, you know, some meeting notes with your team, collaborative notes, and uh, you might want to, uh, maybe capture your notes and tasks in Microsoft Loop. However, if you prefer the flexibility uh, of, you know, Planner app, um, you can actually easily synchronize those tasks with, um, you know, uh, from Loop to Planner. Let me demonstrate that to you. So let's actually go to Loop. So I'm here within this retirement uh, party for Linda workspace. We're organizing a retirement party for the colleague. And you know what? I'm going to create uh, another, you know, page uh, in here. And yeah, we are going to call it party tasks, just like that. And I'm going to add a loop component called task list. And uh, this is where it's actually super important to choose the right type of component. Uh, there are actually two components where you can manage tasks, a task list and Kanban board. And Kanban board actually allows you to manage tasks, um, you know, pretty much like in a planner, you know, in this board cell format. All right. However, the problem with this is that the tasks you create using this uh, Kanban board a loop component will only stay here in loop. You will not be able to sync them to planner, ironically. Uh, so we need to choose uh, the right type of, you know what, let's actually just delete it all together. Here we go. All right, perfect. Let's add the task list. That's the, you know, component you want to choose. And it looks a bit different. It looks a bit different, um, you know, um, because obviously it's a list. Uh, but I'll show you a few tricks and what I specifically like about this a loop component. So first of all, let me uh, create a few, uh, you know, tasks in here. So we need to buy uh, food, all right, for the retirement party. We need to buy gifts, all right. And then we need to also obtain, um, you know, some maybe finances, all right, um, you know, an, an approval or something for, for the party, all right. So uh, you know what? Let's just do this, obtain approval. All right, perfect. And I'm going to assign it. I'm going to assign it to a few employees here. All right, so uh, just like that. Uh, by the way, by the way, let me get rid of this, uh, you know, message over here. Um, let me refresh the page. You might notice, right? So I assigned, uh, you know, a task to myself, and then I assigned it to others, and they appeared in this red color. Why? Because they don't have access to this page just yet. I'm the only one in here in this uh, workspace, so we can actually do it from here. You, you see, to give this person access and notify them, click on the message, and that's exactly what we're going to do. We let's take care of that. All right. So now Mary and John, my colleagues, have been added to the works, you know, to this particular page, I, sh I should say, and then notified accordingly. Let's assign some due dates. Doesn't really matter what they are. All right. Just uh, like that. And the bucket. That's actually important. That's actually important. So you know how in uh, Planner, we have different buckets, right? Uh, we have the same concept in here. And this is important because whatever tasks we're going to create here, we want them to be synchronized and, you know, the tasks, the buckets, everything to Planner. So let's do that. You know what? I'm go not going to uh, do, you know, those, uh, you know, I'm not going to utilize this default bucket. Uh, let me uh, create, you know, uh, the ones I need. You know what? Uh, let's do this. Um, 
you know, I'll call this uh, planning, uh, you know, phase or something, a bucket, and then I'm going to use uh, this. I'm going to create uh, maybe execution. I know it's uh, almost like a waterfall, right, type of uh, project. All right, so a few buckets I created. Obviously, whatever you want, whatever you want. Now, before I show you how to sync tasks uh, from this uh, loop to, you know, uh, to planner, first of all, you can visualize this tasks in a Kanban style board, you see by different buckets. So essentially it kind of helps you achieve the same you know, objective as that other uh, Kanban bar, uh, board uh, loop component. Uh, but let's go, back to, let's go back to the list of the table. And here's the difference between this web part, uh, I'm sorry, I'm a SharePoint guy, I call this a web part, between this um, loop component and, um, you know, and Kanban board uh, component right here. In the upper right corner, we have this extra drop down, and we can sync tasks with planner or to do, right? To do is obviously your personal task management app. Uh, obviously, if you want to see the tasks there, you might want to sync it to to do, but you know what? I need to collaborate with my colleagues. We need it in planner. So let's do that. We just click open in planner and let me just refresh the page. And just like that, you see? Just like that, um, essentially now we have, um, you know, uh, we have the same loop, you know, uh, tasks in Planner. And now we can manage them from here. And everything came in. You see uh, the, the my buckets, you know, I did not delete this bucket, so I guess that's why it's still here. But, um, you know, my uh, buckets I created are uh, came in the actual tasks, you know, who they're assigned to, the due dates, everything came in. Now, um, once you sync it with Planner, all right, the sync will continue to work uh, essentially as you uh, make changes to the tasks in Microsoft Loop. So, for example, I'm going to complete this, uh, one of the tasks assigned to me, all right, right here, by food, I complete it in uh, in, in a loop. Let's uh, open it up. Let's see what happens. I probably need to refresh the screen just like that. You see the task got completed. All right. So pretty powerful, you know, pretty powerful feature. But now, um, you know, the beauty about this is that if I'm in planner, I can now aggregate this task right from multiple plans. Doesn't really matter whether they were created as part of Microsoft Loop or, you know, Microsoft, uh, you know, Teams, Microsoft 365 group, doesn't matter, right? I can, you know, pretty much uh, aggregate all the tasks, you know, from one location. And, uh, you know, because now I have all these tasks in, um, you know, the Planner app. All right, so that's all I uh, really wanted to uh, show you in this uh, particular video. Hopefully you learned a new uh, trick. Uh, as always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.